I'm a hot mess, I'm a hot mess. But I'm up here at the boutique. I'm Wendy with uh, Wendy's Adventures, Rosebrook Boutique. And I am up here and I just had, y'all, <laughs> I had to at least get the den and dining room areas clean and get some furniture in here and my racks just to see how I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> I'm not totally completed with, the only thing I got left in here is some trim. Of course, the um, blinds and the curtains and I gotta do the door, I gotta still paint the door. But other than that, it's basically done. And um, I did some cleaning earlier and I got some stuff in here. Uh, so I'm gonna flip the camera and <clears throat> just show y'all what's going on. Well, I never can figure out how to flip the camera when I'm recording, and I don't have internet up here yet because they're coming next week to hook all that up. So, I'm just going to flip the camera around, and maybe I can sort of look while I do that. Okay, so there's the door. Y'all see I've got to finish painting it and put a little curtain over the blind. Of course, i got to do curtains over every, every the, all the um, windows. But um, we did get the trim on the bottom part of the tin wall. I showed a picture of the tin wall not too long ago, but we still gotta do the trim up at the top. But it looks, it's looking good. So we'll pan around this way. And so uh, y'all see that I've got my clothes racks in here. I'm not really sure exactly how I'm gonna set them up. I'm probably not going to be able to figure that out until <laughs> I put some clothes on them and see, you know, how bulky it looks and where to move it. But then I've got that little table just sitting there. Um, with the AC unit, you know, we're just going to have to work around that. Like I said, this is a very old house, so it doesn't have uh, central heat or cooling. So here's my uh, counter. We got it moved in the other day. And it's black, y'all. I love the bull, but I'm not crazy about the black because everything in here is like, you know, grays and whites and browns. So, I'm thinking about just on the front part where the bull is, take the bull off. I'm gonna put him back on because I love him. But um, just cut some boards. I've got some thin uh, pieces of uh, plywood and paint them, you know, the rustic look, different colors, like the turquoise and the browns and the whites, and mix it in and do it on just the front, and then put the bull back on there. And I think that's gonna brighten it up a little bit. Um, either that or I'm gonna paint it. So I hadn't decided yet on that. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know. But anyway, I sort of got it catty-cornered. That's the opening to the kitchen. And I'm not going to do anything in the kitchen right now because I just don't have time. Eventually, I'm going to paint it because it's got green cabinets and everything in there. But I'm just going to put a curtain over that uh, opening there. And I sort of catty-cornered it in this corner because I didn't want to put it flush to the windows. That way, I can use this built-in shelving unit that it's right here. And then I'm going to put, if I use this table, I'm going to paint it or I'm going to put maybe um, this table over there or that bench right there, something there, but I'll put like a low table there. And then this dresser I'm going to paint, but it's going to go in one of the tanning rooms, um, but it's just in here because uh, they had to get it out of the way to get the tanning room set up. So, but I'm loving my floor and like I said, I don't, oh, and I have this little bookcase right here or shelf unit I got to put together. And I think I'm going to put that on this wall right here. It's like a little cubby wall. And I think I'm going to put that there. And then, of course, I'll be hanging my um, jewelry and my art uh, that I've got. And I'm going to use the shelving unit for a lot of my um, smaller items that I'm selling. And I've got a little bit of a space on the countertop that I can set some stuff to, like maybe some um, bracelets and things like that. Probably do most of my jewelry in this area, so it um, be easier for me to keep an eye on. 
But anyway, that's it, y'all, as far as the den and dining room area. And I'm going to just give y'all a little look. These areas still got some work. Um, the tanning bed, I've got all the rooms, um, I've got all the rooms painted except for one of the tanning bedrooms. But uh, he's working on the ceiling in there and he's doing some sanding. So I got to wait till he gets done and then I'll paint that room. But everything else other than the door and um, just cleaning. And of course, as uh, soon as we get some good weather, I need at least two days of pretty weather. You know, three would be optimal, but you know, two, I'll take two. But if we can get two days of pretty weather, I can finish the porch and I can show y'all the outside. But for now, it's just rainy and wet out there. And so, haven't been able to get out there and do that. So, I'm just working um, inside. But I just wanted to show y'all what's happening. And like I said, I just had to get some, um, oh God, just some organization. Because it was just all piled in here and just horrible. So, I had to at least clean a little bit and get it organized somewhat. So, I can sort of see how it's going to uh, do. Plus, I got a bunch of pieces that I was going to paint and if I don't need them because they won't fit there's no sense in wasting time painting them so that's another reason I wanted to you know look and stuff but anyway I just wanted to send y'all a quick little um video I wish I could go live and after next week I'll be able to but for now I'm just gonna upload this recording but I'll see y'all soon bye